Hi everyone, we are back here to episode number two of season number two. Um, last episode we got to see the answers of the animal kingdom and two of the high officers of Carrion, Demon Lord. Um, and there they begin to fight against Shion and I forgot the name of the human. <laughs> Because of Rimuru that say they want everyone not fight and he kind of ignite the fire to everyone fight. So, you know. So let's begin and see how this is going to end up. And I, I, I'm feeling that they, they are going to end up liking Rimuru and his kingdom more <laughs> after that somehow. So let's see with this. Now. Episode Trade with the Animal Kingdom. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Um, she gonna do a Kamehameha? <laughs> yeah, definitely not listen. Yeah, try not kill any birds. Yeah, he is completely broken uh, on a whole other level. You all know that. Of course, that this way I can come here and drink all I want. See, I told you. Mm。Yeah, and he was never seen again. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Don't leave me alone. <sighs> that is true, usually, but also can happen really bad things. It's also really cool to see, like, Rimuru having a different reception right now. <laughs> he totally forgot. Yeah. 
That was obvious. Like, wait, that slime uh, build create his own body or something? Uh... Huh. Oh, okay. I totally now recognize him. So <clears throat> Yep, you're a senpai Wait Oh, okay, I was thinking that was uh, Tiani, okay Who is watching? あ、いいよ。とても興味深い報告でした。ありがとう。あなたの心臓そろそろ返して差し上げてもいいのですか。あ、what?あと、少しだけ働いていただけると、こちらとしても助かるのですよ。あ、そう、it uh, so, looks like it is the woman with green hair that were there is shown in the opening okay we have a name and episode end yeah okay so just a second so let's begin with Xion trying to destroy everyone and everything with the um, Kamehameha <laughs> uh, I, really, I don't know the name of the technique, but like, like this sphere of energy, dark energy, it seems um, that she would kind of kill everyone with that. Um, and it, it's funny because Adimiru is getting more powerful even by things like that. Which again, you can say that it, it, he only did uh, the Tony to. That was probably the best way, best and fast way to protect everyone. However, that also makes him way stronger. <laughs> so it kind of helped in two ways here. And it's funny because, like, this is the power that she was given as her rank increased when Rimiru named her. And it is indirect a power that Rimiru gives to her. But Rimiru itself don't has, right? Then he absorbs the power, he becomes more powerful. And with him becoming more powerful, there is a chance that she will become more powerful as well, indirectly as well. So it's kind of a, a circle um, of everyone getting stronger together. Um, which, in a way, uh, it's similar to Runga. Like, Runga got more powerful in episode 2 when he got named but he got stronger again during the orc the orc disaster fight when he evolved again so of course we probably gonna see especially the kaijin that are so involved uh, maybe the goblins as well they probably will evolve again because Glitimiru is getting stronger and stronger and I'm still thinking that probably uh, someday in the future Glitimiru may become a demon lord uh, so much they talk about that in the last episodes of the first season another thing is the transformation that some of these people from the animal kingdom can do right um, of course the one that has tiger should become a tiger a white tiger um, and the snake, the golden 
uh, of course, become as well. Uh, I mean, we only see her part transforming to a snake, but yeah. Um, and then, of course, was everything a test to see if you're strong enough. Um, and we see a lot of uh, interactions. Uh, I talk about like the trope of a female character that drinks a lot. Um, uh, na, 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 and the poor guy, the dog that we have to negotiate with, um, with them and go after going. Also, one thing I, I briefly say in this in this episode, and I think I say many times during the series, but I'm gonna have to say in one thing that the series done really well, really well, is showing even small clips like of. As is some sometimes just like one scene and then one scene and what then another scene of other character each time um, of small characters like the dwarves like um, I don't know Shiona uh, Shion doing do I mean Shion kind of is like a main main character because she's always uh, in the front but these other characters that don't appear much right and we can see what they are doing and what uh, the interactions that we have affect them and what they are helping to, to build in each time it could be and you can say that it's just just a small thing that doesn't matter but that helps a lot especially because when you have a, a good amount of characters it, it usually is a trouble to make all of them develop what it usually is done like it's okay we're gonna leave these two episodes and we're gonna develop them but really um slime uh, found a way that you can show a lot of characters in a very short amount of time and showing them to develop as a character to help other people to help build this nation without really uh losing so much time with other things, right? Or making them just appearing two times to say one word, and yeah, no. Uh, so it is a really interesting way, and they done, and they make in a very good. Um, they make it really well. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, then of course we have. Um, Rigor becoming so much good. God. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that, uh, but it's good. Um, and also, the recon I don't know if I can count that as a recognition for Perimaru, or he just like, okay, no, I don't need to go there anymore. Just you can just live with, with Rigor. I mean, I, I do get, I do feel that he recognized Rigor to be. Um, worthily and trust to go there and be responsible for that but you know it's Benny Manu I kind of joke about that like when he said yeah I'm not gonna fight uh, yeah yeah we know and I was like y you should trust Benny Manu with not fighting but like nah he's gonna be fine and then in this episode he said that he did that like god damn it Um, one more that uh, we had as well. Um, I'll th even the interactions about like this guy that works for Phobio talking with uh, the human that I always forgot his name, it's interesting. Um, because they fight in the uh, before, and then we see the kids uh, with only Chloe noticing Rimuru. Um, Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, I got back really. Um, also, the thing about the, yeah, you could just uh, eat everything and then yeah, that is true. But you could also do that when it's like really close. But but I too agree with with her the presentation, especially for one in, in a position like Rimuru being like the leader of a nation. It is important at, at the very least. 
outside of the kingdom with relation with other with other kingdoms. So I agree with her. He don't really need to do things like that when he's in his own nation, at least not all the time. But I do agree with with that. Also, really good moment when he stopped with the orcs and give them beer. Yeah. And the guy uh, not recognizing him, uh, which again normal. And it was such a such a easy trope when he say, "Yeah, this guy, yeah, he is Rubidoux. Oh, yeah, he is Rubidoux. Huh? Yeah, he is Rubidoux. Huh? And then, of course, the last one will be. Mm -hmm. So it was really. It was he is for at least for me it's always really funny. So even if it is easy, always easy to predict. Is always really really funny. Um, the guy of the leader of the Pegasus Knight, I definitely did not recognize him, uh, which comes to, to, to the idea that they uh, usually don't like it's a secret organization or whatever. And we have this new character. Where is her name? Where is her name? God damn it, Mulan. Mulan. Right. Apparently, uh, he got her heart. I don't know if it that is literally. Uh, could be. Uh, um, so, she probably gonna be the next episode villain, maybe. Um, who knows? So I don't have any um, thing to say. Uh, just gonna. Uh, want to watch the next episode already so let me know what you think about this episode and i see you guys in the next